high in the hills above Ilan, Taiwan. Heavy mist hangs in the gullies, a mysterious scene, surely home to the mountain top. So it's fully dark now, so I'm going to ride over towards Ilan, and tonight I'll sleep up at the top of the pass. And on the way up, we'll see what snakes and other creatures may or may not be out on the road. Let's get to it. Here is a green tree viper enjoying the damp conditions. A common yet very beautiful snake. The damp conditions have also brought out a lot of frogs, as well as landslides and fallen trees. This one has fallen on the road, but seems to have become home to a cool muff. Let's take a closer look. Nice color, long tail. I wonder what it is. I think we just crossed over into Ilan. And here is a cute cat snake getting along the side of the road. Boiga crepolini, Datosha. These are nocturnal and mostly arboreal snakes, but they can be found on the ground sometimes. They are mildly venomous, but not dangerous to humans. Conditions aren't great tonight, but I'm still pretty surprised to have only seen two snakes and a few frogs. It's almost time to set up camp. Well, look at this. We may not have seen a lot tonight, but here's a hundred pace of viper. Vibusha. What a pleasant surprise. And this is a big one. What an impressive specimen. Look at that face. What incredible markings it has. Wow, what a beauty. You can see here how well it blends in with the fallen leaves. And that pointed nose just like a fallen leaf. Okay, there's a car coming, so I need to get it off the road. It looks a bit cranky now. These snakes are highly venomous and can deliver a fairly high venom load. You see it gave a little snap at my snake hook cover. This is a very defensive posture. You can see its head and neck raised, ready to strike. Sir or, or Bible sure, because legend has it that you'd be dead within a hundred steps after a bite. Although this is an exaggeration, their bites are often fatal. Be careful. Okay, I'm going to lift it up off the road to somewhere safe. While we do, have a look at those beautiful markings on its belly. Amazing. Okay, let's get it safely up here off the road. Dynod Kestridon Acutus. I don't know if my pronunciation is correct. They also go by various common names, such as 100 Step Snake, 5 Pacer, Sharp Nose Viper, Snorkel Viper, Chinese Moccasin, Mountain Guard. These are quite rare snakes, so finding one is quite a treat. It's quite cool to watch it moving away through the vegetation like this. It seems to have found a little cave. There it is, in there, the mountain god's lair. What an incredible snake. So I've got my hammock set up under the rain tarp. It's kind of snug in there. Right, so stage one of my, of my trip has been completed. I'll get up early in the morning and I'll start heading down towards Hualien. Time to get some sleep and got a long ride tomorrow. We'll continue the journey.